Hello everybody, this is Bagi from JK. Welcome on my channel. In this video, we are going to work with the MacBook Pro mid-2012, that's a 15-inch. In this video, we will factory reset and will install latest MacBook operating system, which one is 10.15.4. Today, April 2020. I have made a couple of videos before already, which one is a little bit of hard way and you have to factory reset. Once you factory reset your MacBook, it will go back to MacBook operating system 10.8.5. Then you are not able to update to the latest one, which one is 10.15.3 or 4, whatever. You have to follow three steps, but this video is going to be totally different. We will factory reset, we will erase our hard drive and we will install straight 10.15.4 the latest one is available i'm not sure this method is going to work with all but we are going to try on this macbook and it will work i tried before i'm going to try once again to just make a video to make it easy for people have a struggling about to be factory and update to the latest one now let's walk to my screen and we will follow step one by one I'm not able to record screen because it's everything's going to be out of the screen because I can't record while I'm just uh, resetting and upgrading. So now let's start focus on. Uh... So now I have removed all my data. I have a backup already. I have a sign out from uh, my Apple ID. I'm ready to reset. For factory reset, first we are going to turn the power off. You press power button and will go off. Once your MacBook is fully off, then we are going to click on Command and R. We're going to press both keys together and we are going to turn power on. We are still keep holding as soon as you see a uh, factory reset or any other option over here, we will let go those keys. Now we see Apple logo and start some kind of a processing and I will let keys go and it will go to the factory reset mode. I have a skipped unnecessary part and I got on this window right now. So at this window, it asking us what we want to do, restore from Time Machine Backup, reinstall Mac OS. We are going to do Desk Jutelty. We are going to click on Desk Jutelty, then we are going to press Continue. And at this window, we have to delete our hard drive. We are going to do Macintosh. HD, then we are going to click on erase. We have option here on the top is like here erase. We, okay, now we select our hard drive. As you have select your hard drive will tell you how much data and everything, whole information about your uh, computer. You're not going to uh, select your uh, Mac OS base system. We are going to click hard drive. We are going to erase our hard drive. As you can see, I have a Mac OS 10 15.3 right now. I will click on erase. It will ask you one more time what kind of format we want to, where I will leave a default. You can use any if you know. I will say erase. It will take a couple seconds and our hard drive is erased already. And as soon as erase, we are going to click done and we will go back to the back menu. It's done. We click on done and we just simply close this one. Now we are over here. We are going to reinstall Mac OS or you can restart from backup. We are going to reinstall Mac OS. Continue. We have to be angry. I have to be angry again. Now it gave us option actually we have a same drive. I'm not sure why this one shows me two options. I will choose my hard drive and I will say install. And now it's going to take 23 minutes. We don't have to record this process. I will stop my video and we will record when the process is done. So now we are at this spot right now. We're asking about our uh, like a country and reason. It took me about like one hour 15 minutes to get here from a factory reset to install. Like total time was one hour 15 minutes. I see there's a process was a couple time uh, start, finish, start, finish. So it took about like one hour 15 minutes to so be patient. Now we are going to choose country. I choose the United States. I will click on the next. So now here 
you can do customize setting i will click next and here we have to choose one of the wi-fi network i'm going to choose mine and then we have to put a password over here so i filled my wi-fi password at this window i will go continue so you want to transfer something from other window i will say no we're not going to do anything right now it's asking for apple email id and i will say set up later because i'm not going to keep this laptop skip we have to agree agree and we have to put like create one of the name of this computer i will just create mac mac book space 15 account name i will continue i don't need a any it will create by itself password one two three four five verify one two three four five hint numbers let's see press continue 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 that's actually pretty simple setup you can choose your options and just keep adding and continue now we have this window is asking if we want to enable siri we will click enable continue you want to share not choose either one i'm going to continue that's all about siri it's nothing important now what kind of a look you want to choose you want a light dark or i will choose a light continue and it's going to be set up our mac for first time okay now our macbook is ready i'm not sure what mac operating system it got installed right now because it was asking me to install macbook uh, Catalina, which one is the latest one but let's check for this one i will wait a little bit then we will go here at the apple logo and where we are able to see all information so now our macbook is ready if we see here in the top logo we have apple we will click on apple logo then about this mac and over here we have a reset to factory and we got latest mac operating system batch one is 10.15.4 so we don't even have to go back to 10.8.5 or anything once you factor reset and it will go back to 10.15.4 that's all for today thank you for watching if you like my video please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching